I'm a real skeptic of civilization. And I was, yeah. You know, because if it's to me, to me, these what we have right now is is sort of in civilization in its infancy, because as long as, um, to me, it's got to be about the well-meaning and well-being of as many entities as possible. You know, whether it's human beings or animals or plants, once their well-being is really central, then you'll have a civilization. Otherwise, you have sort of this anemic attempt. Yeah, when, when I uh, was with Jacques Fresco, do you know yeah. him? Oh, yeah, I love he, Jacques. Yeah, he said that, you know, this is not civilization yet. We still have wars, we still have prisons, exactly. and we still have money. Totally. Yeah, I'm right there with Jacques. I'm, I'm totally on Jacques' fucking agenda, man. Like, I, I dig that guy. Yeah, I wonder what um, what that term morphs into. Because, like, originally, you know, like, hunter-gatherer people supposedly spent, like, three hours a day doing, like, you know, work for survival. And, like, it wasn't that, that attractive an option to move to agriculture. Because it was, like, a ton more work. Mm -hmm. um, it depended on way more people. It was, like, like eight eight people working in agriculture for every ten people supported by agriculture. Mm -hmm. like, it kind of like was the thing that created patriarchal society mm -hmm. because like you needed to have kids. Right. Like, lots of kids. And like and then property. Property. Yeah, exactly. Like like the tribes that um yeah. No, you know that I read the Guns, Germs, and Steel book. Yeah, I'm familiar. Yeah, it's like that. You know, it's like they're talking about you know the evolution of human civilization, and like how the people that were basically um, in uh, you know they got involved in agriculture. Like one island will have agriculture, one island won't. Two hundred years later, the island of agriculture will like come on boats, fucking massacre everyone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, no, it makes me think of how in biology the most successful relationship, sadly, is the parasitic relationship, not the symbiotic relationship. But parasites tend to have a stable, you know, resource. You know, and I mean, if agriculture isn't parasitism... I yeah, I mean, if you're not interested yeah. in the <laughs> development of the entire ecosystem towards infinite consciousness... Right. I don't know. Definitely not infinite consciousness. So. Definitely. About farming consciousness, yeah. <laughs> putting a pen in a pen. The uh, I don't know the origin. The stories about the origins of human civilization with farming versus hunter gatherer not farming, I think, are extremely politically. There's a lot of political strife in the way that the stories are written. Uh, I've read stories that interpret the same events in completely different ways. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Like, usually for some reason I always hear about how bad agriculture is kind of, or the culture that develops from having agriculture, but I've also read about how um, agricultural peoples, at least earlier on, uh, all had a female gods right. that were fertility goddesses right. and generally there were nomadic tribes that were hunter-gatherers that started consistently um, stealing at knife point the, <laughs> the resources that were generated from farming because they were, yeah, in, they like, were in one place right. and they didn't have uh, as weapon-like culture and uh, the gods of the hunter-gatherers tended to be sky and storm gods that were always male. Mm. So I, I tend to think of the mixing of these two gods as, as the point. Rather than it came from one side or the other, I think that they inevitably had to have mixed. Mm. And, the mixing uh, of the gods. <laughs> and I mean, this is male, it's male and female, and uh, then then the sexy stories start, and uh, it's just crazy. And we don't, yeah. Well, I mean, do you know the uh, did you read Sex at Dawn by Ryan? No, I, I haven't, but I mean, I feel like I thought about right. stuff in there before. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
his 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 big suggestion is that the second agriculture shows up is when you have nuclear family units show up is when children become your children rather mm -hmm. than the tribe right, right. in and of itself with many parents and then of course you have my woman and then my man and then you have the rise of monogamy out of that mm -hmm. and uh you know what does that lead to of course again you can get to patriarchy and again you can get to you know other kinds of you know just uh, this kind of masculine dominator culture showing up out of that whole I mean, the second it's like, this is my crop. The moment you have this is my crop, suddenly everything falls into that category of being my crop, my property, my spawn, my kin, my wife, my religion. It all sort of falls out of that one claim, you know. Once that claim solidified. There's also the, there's also the, the thought, though, that like, the people that... Recorded, passed on, like any sort of. I don't know. Actually. The the people, the things that were written down were of a particular nature. Well, uh, the, the yeah, the, well. And you therefore, were just we only about... have a small sample of the kinds of well, things yeah. that <laughs> yeah. the, the kind of people that would write down something would have a different perspective. You know, like there's probably a lot more. If there's like one farmer with like a successful crop yield and there's a bunch of like hunter gatherers all of a sudden their game is dried up or whatever they're gonna be like saying you know, all of this nasty shit about the farmer smart asses <laughs> have and have nots man that's all it is